Okay, hello, we are back again for some more No One But You. Alright, we're going to continue where we started, where we left off last time. Now, we were going to have a little meetup with Megumi and Yui for our little study session. So, pretty much they're going to be over, coming over. That's pretty much where we left over, left off at uh, last time. So, let's get here and see what happens. This will be our first real interaction with Yui. We really haven't had any, 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 our you know, interactions with her yet. Um, all the choices I've made so far have pretty much gone on the wayside for when it comes to her. Um, so I, I, I kind of can see why I've chosen those decisions because I don't know anything about her. I haven't met her as a character really. Um, they haven't forced it on me until now to where I have to interact with her. So maybe I'll get to know her a little bit more and maybe I'll be interested in following paths with her more. All right, let's start this up. Just as the clock hit seven, I heard the doorbell ring. Hey, Megumi. You sure are punctual. Did I come too early? Perhaps I should have waited. Oh, those little dog ears. They always show the dog ears. I do I do find them off, though. Kind of off-putting. Uh, I think they could have did a little bit better with that. Those little ears. I mean, it, it kind of like... I, I see why they, they put it on there and everything. Because you got that little dog look that he always says of her. She she is quite emotional with her face, facial expressions. She pretty. I find them quite cute whenever she makes them all. Did I come too early? Perhaps I should have waited. No, no, it's okay. Oh my, is Hideaki embarrassing you? He always does that. What? Mom? No, I don't. <laughs> it's okay. It's just how Hidi shows his affection. Oh. <laughs> you too, Megumi. Come on. Anyway, come on in, Megumi. We've been expecting you. Yes, right away, Mother. You're calling her Mother? <laughs> Pay me no further mind. Megumi and my mother both headed into the kitchen. I, I don't know why she called her Mother. Well, I guess... I don't think she has a name! She just called the mother. Oh, so I guess that- I guess that's why you would say, Alright, mother. I just kind of find it weird if someone would be calling someone else's mom mother. Unless you're like, you know, married or engaged or something to that person. Well, those two sure are hitting it off. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this wasn't their first meeting. Come to think of it, did I ever tell my mother the names of the people who would be joining us? And for that matter, why did Megumi call her mother? Oh, right there! He finally, it finally hit him. Why did Megumi just call my mom mother? That's what I was thinking. I'm like, why, why on earth did Megumi just call her mother? I didn't know if they had a reason, but it looks like even our main character found that weird. Don't, don't think about it, Hideaki. Just go with the flow, and everything will be okay. Yeah. Whoa, they got, I, I kind of like all the design on the, on the walls and everything. Actually, it looks like a pretty cool looking house. Wow, I like what you've done with the place. It looks much, much better than last time I came over. Go with the flow, Hideaki. <laughs> He's probably like, you've been over before? It's like, have you been like, you and my mother have been hanging out or something? <laughs> Is that how he- wait! Did we ever find out how she got his number? I don't remember if we ever- that detail was ever given. Maybe from his mom. If, if, if we wasn't already given that, that info. Oh my, thank you. I could teach you a thing or two about homekeeping if you'd like. For when you take over, of course. If you catch my drift. Holy shit, this mom must be like... Megumi, you know? Hitting it off with Megumi and like... Megumi... Like, the future, the future wife or something? Of your son? Is is that what this is all? Do you want her to be that or something? Yes, absolutely. PT, please teach me, mother. 
Go with the flow, Hideaki. <laughs> he's he's probably like, what the hell is going on here? How are these two so chummy together? How do they know each other so like they seem like they're like best buddies or something? Still, it seems like something is missing. Is Mr. Naito not here once again? Did I say something wrong? I'm sorry. N no, it's my fault for not mentioning it before. Um, my dad passed away when I was a kid. Oh no, I'm so sorry. That must have come out very rude. No, no, I, I wouldn't say it came out very rude, Megumi. You, you, you didn't know. You can't be rude when you don't know something. You, you. Even if you might have mentioned something wrong or something, you can't fault someone for being not knowing the information. If someone doesn't know the information and they mention something that might not seem like the best, you can't really fault them for it. It's not your fault. There's no reason to be sorry. You'd be like, oh. He's like, I'm sorry about that, you know. Yeah, I guess you'd be like, I didn't know, you know. Of course they probably know that you didn't know. <laughs> they never mentioned anything. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Besides, if he was still here, we might not have room for another family member, if you catch my drift. You said that again. <laughs> she, she's this mom, man. <laughs> I mean, I do like Megumi for the most part. As, as a character, she seems to be quite a nice girl. But a lot of the other girls seem like they're pretty nice as well. But Megumi just, like, she's always, like, energetic and, like, Oh! Oh! <laughs> God damn it, Mom. I catch your drift already. Like Mom said, just forget about it. Come on, let's go upstairs. I'll show you my room. Uh, okay. Don't make too much noise. If you catch my. What on earth? She's gonna do that thing again? Catch my drift, you know. Don't go banging up there. Don't be having sex up there now. <laughs> Don't you dare finish that sentence. <laughs> oh, so that's how you derive x. It kinda makes sense now. Yeah, all you have to do is divide this by x's value, then you eliminate the ones that are the same. Then you move x to the other side of the equation, and there you have it. They're doing math, seems like. Yeah, I said it kinda makes sense. Oh, she's here. Who is it? It's Yui. She agreed to study with us. Oh, oh, she seems down a little bit. I think Megumi wanted this to be alone time. Megumi does seem like... I really do get the drift that Megumi likes Hideaki. I mean, it just seems like the, the, the emotional expression she does give off whenever there's other girls involved. She kind of has like, it seems like a little jealousy. Uh, vibe there whenever the other girls you know <laughs> get alone time with them or even or even the uh, guys she seems a little clingy too like maybe I don't know about clean I don't know if that's the word I'm trying to think uh, I'm not sure how to it's not coming to mind what to what I, what I want to say about it but I, I don't know if you if you've been following along you've probably gotten an idea of her personality I asked Shiro first, but she said she couldn't make it. Really? Fancy that? <laughs> anyway, I'll be right back. I don't know why Megumi's down. All I can think about is she wanted some alone time with him. And this is my room. Yui does... I, th I do find Yui a pretty cute looking character. Oh, I don't... She, she has more of a... One of those characters who probably kick ass as well. Look to her. A little more athletic look. I don't know how, how to say it. I, mean, I think I've watched too much anime where it's like a lot of the more athletic girls, I think, have like ponytails and stuff like that. It seems to be. And like, she just gets off this vibe, she probably kicks some ass. I didn't know the class representative was going to be here as well. I'm the one who suggested having a study group in the first place. You could have mentioned that, Hideaki. Oh, I didn't think it was relevant. Whatever the case. Help us out with this one, Yui. 
You're pretty smart, right? Okay, let's see here. No, Hideaki, you can't just eliminate that from the equation. But it would make, make it so much easier. If you want the easy way out, just ask the teacher to fail you. Tch, fine. What do we do here? Excuse me for a second. I'm going to the bathroom. Megumi is giving off this very depressed vibe. Megumi's stood up. Oh, okay. It's at the end of the hallway. Megumi walked out of the room. Hey. Hmm? Promised you'd make us food. Oh, you're right. I should go make something. Good. I stood up and head for the door. Hey, Hideaki? What's the deal with her? You mean Megumi? What about her? She seems... less annoying than usual. Maybe she's still thinking about what happened before. What happened? I forgot to tell you... tell her that my dad passed away, and things got a bit awkward. Oh. Yep, just like that. Real smooth, Hideaki. I'll be back soon. Okay. I don't think, for some reason, I don't think that's it. I, for some reason, I think the reason why she's down and giving off that little vibe is, doesn't have to do with that, really. Or maybe it does. For some reason, I, th I think it's the... It seems like she gave that little frowny face started when she... When you told her that Yui was coming over. Ah, hot, hot, hot. Don't grab that with your bare hands, silly. Ah, I'm way too impatient for this. Just put them on the plate and go to your guests. I've been down here for a while. It's not my fault it takes ages to make these. I'll head back up now. Careful on the stairs. As I approached my room, I could hear the voices of Yui and Megumi. I couldn't hear what they were saying, but I felt somewhat relieved that they were getting along in my absence. I can't tell what they're saying, but at least they're communicating. With that cheery thought of mine, I opened the door and walked in. Hey guys, I brought some. Oh, is that what you think? Oh, what's going on here? Uh, seems like maybe an argument. For some reason, I had, a, I had an idea when he said they were talking that maybe there is some conflict going here, not not c communication. You know, it's true. You started frowning and acting strange the second I got here. I knew it was Yui, that's what it was. So, so, you even got the vibe that it was probably girls are fighting over our guy here <laughs> uh, I we don't know I don't know anything about Yui so I can't really put a vibe on if she likes you know Hideaki or, or not but Megumi definitely does I we've seen her uh, interact with some of the other characters when I've chose to go along with a different one instead of her she definitely gave off that frowny vibe so what that doesn't have anything to do with you besides you're the one who got here acting like you own the place. You didn't even bother to take your shoes off. You're always like this and you know it. No one bothers you, yet you think you're above us all. Uh, girls? Well, excuse me. I'm sorry that I'm not Little Miss Perfect like you. I'll remember from now on to start hogging people and acting all fake around them for my own amusement. She's acting fake? I, I'm not sure if I understand exactly what it means by fake. Is there a different side to Megumi that we don't know about? I understand the hogging part, hogging people part. <laughs> she does, she does give up, does that around, you know, Hideaki trying to like, Hideaki's mine type of vibe there. I never said I was perfect, and I'd never do that. Yeah, well, that's why you hang out with all the rich and popular kids at school. But what are you even doing here? Isn't this place too lowly for you? Hideaki is my friend, whether you like it or not. And these people you're talking about come to me. I don't go looking for them. 
And, by the way, at least I have friends and people to talk to, unlike you. This is exactly why nobody likes you. Hideaki probably just felt sorry for you. I don't think that's how it Hideaki, though. Megumi, you're, 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 you're rambling on a little bit too much. Maybe just... Don't, don't try to say what Hideaki thinks or not. Hey! I'm leaving. See what scoot Hi Hideaki. Look at me quickly grabbed her stuff and exited the room. Hey, Yui, listen. I don't want to hear it, Hideaki. With notably less urgency, Yui followed suit. Right after grabbing as many sandwiches as she could carry. Seriously, what just happened? Well, I think... Maybe they just don't like each other? But someone... Well, I don't... We, we don't know who actually started the conversation. I mean, of, of course Yui was curious, you know, when you left, why the she got a vibe that Magoo, something was up with Magumi, and more than likely she asked Magumi herself. And the conversation went downhill from there. Because <laughs> who knows? Who knows what the whole entire conversation was, but we just, we just caught the, the tail end of that. And yeah. <laughs> Definitely a fight. I don't know if exactly a fight over him, but a fight over... I don't know. You know, you get some little vibes out of that conversation, and I don't know too much about where it might have been heading, or the reason, exact reasoning behind it. But I thought those two were getting along, so I really wasn't expecting that. Yeah, that kind of ended off kind of bad. So, that's what happened. How weird. They didn't seem like that the kind of people who would start a fight. I've never heard Megumi raise her voice before, let alone say something malicious. She's usually such a sweet, gentle, loving girl. I'll worry about that remark later. I'm surprised myself. Those two usually never start fights. They barely even know each other. It's probably because those two are from different worlds. Maybe. I'll go up to my room now. I'll figure it out tomorrow. Okay. So much for a study group. I feel like I somehow know less about the subject than I used to. I guess I'll need to study on my own after all. Kind of, uh, kind of was a little shitty there. But I wonder if there's another side to Megumi that we don't know about. Maybe she's not as nice as nice of a girl as we kind of give a f she gave off. I mean. Yui called her that, you know, she's just putting up a fake face, you know. Maybe there's something else to her that we don't know about, that Yui knows, or something. It's a bit cloudy today. The weather has changed quite a bit since I arrived here. I've been here for almost two months now, but I'm still not used to everything. Like that bridge, for example. I like to go by there in order to see Chinatsu, but with those nightmares of mine, I just... Should I swing by there anyway? Hmm. Should I go to the bridge? Or should I not go to the bridge? Uh, I don't know. You know. Um. I'm gonna go take another route to school. Hmm. Maybe not today. I'll face my fears some other day when I'm feeling less stressed. Arriving in class slightly earlier than usual, I looked around the classroom for the sources of my Angus. Mm. Megumi is sitting at her desk alone. Maybe she is studying. Yui isn't here, so she's probably in the courtyard as usual. So we w so the courtyard as usual. You say courtyard. I remember a decision earlier that when we had could go up to like I think it was a roof courtyard and stay in the classroom. That was probably the three girls right there. Uh, so we probably could have had a chance of com having a conversation with her if we went to the courtyard, but we I decided to go to the roof that time, where we met the other, the other girl. 
Maybe I should check on you before class starts. Yeah, let's stay in class. Maybe we'll get a conversation with Megumi. Maybe I shouldn't. If it's a problem between Megumi and Yui, I'd, I'd just make it worse. I'll stay in class and wait for the teacher to arrive. I was hoping you'd go talk to Megumi or something. Break time rolled around and Megumi was still at her desk, vigilantly writing the notes off the board. Damn, that was a lot of information. I can't believe all of this will be in the exams. I got my, most of it down, but the teacher rubbed off most of it before I had the chance. My efforts are getting me nowhere. I should, go, I should do something else for a while to take my mind off studying. So, the roof will meet her. We can go talk to Megumi. We can go... I keep forgetting. I think it was like Shiro, I think her name was again. And that's when we'll meet her. Or we can go meet Shinatsu. That's, so we got three girls. I, I do like Megumi, but I also like the other girl as well. Shiro, I believe her name is. Well, and Shinatsu seems like a nice girl. And this is the first one we kind of kind of met. Let's go talk to Megumi. I really should hear her side of what happened last night, shouldn't I? I walked over to Megumi's desk. Hey there. Oh, hi there, Hideaki. Hmm. What's with the gloomy hello? Still upset about what happened yesterday? Megumi's face quickly turned red. I knew it. Don't laugh, it's serious. No, it isn't. It's a pretty silly thing to be upset about. But I made a fool of myself at your house and ruined everything. Not only did I upset Yui, but now Hideum, mother must think I'm a terrible person. I don't think after one thing, you know, art and argument doesn't make you a terrible person. Nope, still not touching that. Oh, calm down. You're making this out to be way bigger than it is. Everyone gets like that sometimes. It's part of being human. Trust me, I don't care about what happened, and I doubt Yui does either. You don't think she's upset? I said some pretty harsh things. Nah, I'm sure she's already forgotten about it. Really? Yui isn't the kind of person to care what other people say about her. Hmm, is that so? You seem to know her well. What do you see in her? What do you mean? I seem to like hanging out with her. So does Ryo. Well, I'm not sure what Ryo's deal is, but for me, I just feel like she's different. She's not as mean as everyone makes her out to be. She's just defensive. I don't know why she always acts tough, but I'm sure there's a reason behind it. Anyway, we should stop gossiping about people and do something fun. I don't know, Hideaki. I'm not really in the mood. I know, and that's exactly why we should do it, so... You need to do something to take your mind off things and bring a smile back to that beautiful face of yours. Oh, beautiful face? I, I find her face cute. But I guess you know, beautiful would be a well, at least another expression to say. H Hideaki! I just did again, didn't I? You know what? You're right. Okay, what do you have in mind? <laughs> like you need to ask. The pranksters have returned to the scene of the crime. Oh no. Not this again. You know you love it. Fine. I'll play along. But what do you have in mind, Master Hideaki? Hmm, let me think. We need something bigger than last time. Oh, I have an idea. I walked over to the closet and opened it. Eureka! Huh? What are you gonna do with those sticky notes? There's only one thing to do with them. Stick them. Um, stick them where exactly? Everywhere! Everywhere? Yep, there are enough here to cover the whole classroom. Come to think of it? Why do we have so many sticky notes in the closet anyway? You want to stick these all over the classroom? You won't make it in time. That's why I have my partner in crime. Uh-oh. I don't want to be a part of this. Aw, oh, come on. We're crime buddies. 
he's trying to <laughs> I think he's trying to lighten up the mood and make Megumi out of that being all down about everything <laughs> fine I can't say no to that enthusiastic face of yours awesome here stick these all over the board and I'll take care of the desks and windows okay I handed some colorful sticky notes to Megumi and we started sticking them everywhere I'm done here. How about you, Megumi? I'm done too. I looked over at the board. Ah, nice. I see you made our symbol using different colors. Masterminds always leave a small piece of evidence to tease the victims. Couldn't have said it better myself. You've proven to be quite the rebel, Meg. I learned from the best. Damn right. Now then, let's get out of here before anyone sees us. Okay, we better hurry. The break is almost over. Megumi and I walked outside, making sure no one saw us. <laughs> the break ended and everyone headed back to class. Megumi and I tried our best not to laugh while everyone else did. Aha, very funny kids. Whoever did this just gave the janitor an extra hour or so of work. It appears to be from the same pranksters as last time, judging by their totally original and not at all goofy signature. I am being sarcastic, of course. Hey, our signature is awesome. This kind of behavior might have been funny in the first time, but now it's just getting a bit tedious. I don't have time to deal with this. We have tests to prepare for. Maybe we shouldn't have done this. Chillax. We won't get in trouble. If you say so. Everyone, please take your seats. We'll deal with the sticky situation later. Not a single laugh. We all walked over to our seats in an uncomfortable silence and class began. By the time school had ended for the day, I had exhausted every fiber of my being. Writing down notes, worrying about Yui and Megumi, and stressing about exams all at once was taking its toll. As a result, by the time I had written down all the notes for the day, I was literally the last student to go home. Hey mom! Oh, Hideaki, you're home early today. Really? I'm pretty sure I was the very last student to leave school. I guess it must be because I came straight home for once. You didn't go out with your friends today? I thought I'd just spend the evening in my room, catching up on some sleep. The others were probably preparing for exams anyway. You should do the same, you know. Yeah, yeah I will. But the only thing on my mind right now is food. All this studying has me starved. The studying you haven't been doing, you mean? Either way, you're right on time. Dinner will be ready in five minutes. Now go wash up, then join me in the kitchen. Okay. After eating dinner with my mother, I returned to my bedroom. I promised I would study, but the second on my head hit the pillow, my body had other ideas. I don't know why I'm so tired today. Is the schoolwork getting to me? Is it stress? Am I worried about my friends? At any rate, all I want to do right now is sleep the night away. Probably gonna have one of those dreams again. No? No? We're just gonna go on to the next day? Oh, multiple days. Oh, we're, we're, we're accelerating. As the days leading up to my exam period rapidly passed by, I found myself once again waking up without feeling refreshed in the slightest. Although my usual nightmares have been kept at bay, the monster known as studying has been ruining my life. I've been getting little sleep lately, and with summer break riding on the results of my upcoming exams, that won't change anytime soon. Good morning, honey. Ready for your last day of school? I would be if school wasn't being replaced by mandatory studying exams. Honestly, who decided to give us a week off school solely for the purpose of studying, only to then drag us back for exams? Fair enough. School has been tiring recently, and now the exams are here. I just want this week to be over. Don't worry, it'll be over before you know it. You kids these days want to rush everything instead of enjoying your youth. 
No, I want to rush my exams precisely so I can get out with my friends and enjoy my youth. Okay, good point. You're really on the ball this morning, Hitty. All this studying must have given you super focus. Don't worry, it'll fade in a week or so. Hmm, I'm not sure how to feel about that. I don't want you to do s well, but it's also unnatural to see you so focused on something other than video games. Just how little faith does my mother have in me. Anyway, I guess it's about time you left. I don't want to be late for your last day of class. If you say so. Later, Mom. I finished eating and waved goodbye so as I walked out the door. Hmm, there aren't many people here today. It seems like some of the students decided to stay home studying. Or at least, that's what they'll tell their teachers. Maybe I should have done the same. Hideaki. What? Let's get out of here. Um, what? This class is so boring. It's just revision of what we've learned before. No, let's just ditch and go into town and to do something. Mm, I don't know. Ariel's right about this all being stuff we've done before. But even so. Hmm, should I skip? Man. This one actually has a decent amount of decisions. I would love to know if there's any, you know, uh, actual story changes in making decisions. I think I'm going to stay in class. We better stay in class. I don't want to get in trouble on the last day. Psst. What trouble? There are like 10 people in here, including us. I'm pretty sure he won't mind. Well, let's not risk it. You're no fun. Hideaki, have it your way. So Rail's going to run off. Rail walked over to his desk and sat down. Sorry, Rail, but I have studying to do. If you want to fail the exams and attend summer school, that's your problem. I guess we could have ditched. I wonder what would happen if we ditched. With all the excitement from my day having passed by, I stared blankly at the ceiling in my room. I had neither energy nor a desire to study anymore, and simply wanted summer vacation to arrive. I can't believe summer vacation is almost here already. I've been here for a full two months now, and it's gotten to the point where I really do feel like this is my home. I've had so much fun here. I never thought I'd make so many friends so easily. On the other hand, I spent so much time worrying about my friends and trying to be sociable that I haven't had any time to myself. My entire school life has just been me jumping from one person to the next either listening to their problems or allowing them to create more for me. No, that's unfair. Even if friendship breeds conflict, I brought all of this upon myself, and it's not as though they mean any harm. Besides, from tomorrow on, I'll have all the alone time I need. In the depths of study hall. Study hell. <laughs> In the depths of study hell. So we're gonna advance a week or something? Nope, only a day. Uh -oh. I'm about to be like, we're gonna skip the whole vacation period. Doesn't look like that way. All right, actually, I think that's a good spot to leave off here. So we're basically, we've, we basically have started our summer vacation, our week of vacation, which a week goes by real quick. Well, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this. It seems like we've we've gotten some more, you know, at the at least at the beginning here, we had some real conflict going on. <laughs> we got a little we got to little, see a little, you know, a little more conversation with Yui a little bit. We didn't really didn't learn anything about her or anything like that. Uh, I think we got a little more a different side of Megumi though. She can be a little aggressive, it seems like. And I definitely do get the vibe that she likes likes our our main character, Hideaki. But is there another side to her that makes me wonder? Because you know, if you look at Yui's, a few words she said it seems like is she t is she you know Yui actually is that what she is you know that is actually the truth. There is another side you know to Megumi that we don't know of. I mean, you never know. There might be, and she is giving off a different vibe, you know, to everyone. It's not like the real her or something. Never know. 
She doesn't seem like a nice care girl, though, Megumi. Well, guys, I want to thank you for watching this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm enjoying this series. Okay, guys, thank you for watching, and you all have a great day.